India, to the fact a land where billions of dreams coexist, diversity thrives, and vibrant festivals are celebrated every year. But despite this modernization, there exists a fascinating enigma that divides people based on color and families they are born in. With almost 1.3 billion people carving out their destinies, Indian society still works on a 3,000-year-old norms called castes. From its historical roots to its influence over billions, we will cover everything today. So buckle up, as we are going to unleash the truth about the caste system that is shockingly prevalent in modern Indian culture. The word caste was derived in the 16th century from the Spanish or Portuguese casta, which means breed, lineage, or race. In short, caste is a 3,000-year-old system that divides Hindus into rigid hierarchical sets and is a form of social stratification. Manus Muridi, which is one of the chief books on Hindu law, calls this system important for regularity and order. Origins and Types of Caste in India There are many theories regarding the origin of this system, but many Hindus believe in karma and dharma, which lies at the heart of Hinduism. Karma holds the view that due to the deeds in the previous incarnation, a man is born in a particular caste. That means if someone has done good deeds in a previous life, then he is born in a higher level of caste than vice versa. The Dharma, on the other hand, also means that if a man accepts the caste in which he is born and is living according to the religious guidelines, he will be born in higher castes, and if he violates, he will be born in lower ones. Traditionally, it is believed that this caste system is one of the extensions of Varna, where four Varnas were created from the body of the Hindu Lord Brahma. According to this system, Indian castes are divided into four main categories. Number 1. Brahmins At the top of this hierarchical pyramid, we have Brahmins, who were created from the head of Lord Brahma, and as they formed the head, they were considered intellectuals or priests that have a deeper knowledge of Hinduism. With the history of religious prestige and education, Brahmins still hold an elevated position in the society. That is why Brahmins dominated politics for many years even after the 1947 independence. As the first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru was a Brahmin, and surprisingly, eight of the 13 Prime Ministers of India after independence were Brahmins. Additionally, according to 2007 reports, Brahmins in India are about 5% of the total population with a high percentage of literacy. So even today, Brahmins have a strong hold in politics, public educational institutes, and companies offering jobs. Number 2. Kshatriyas Kshatriyas, who are below Brahmins, were created from the arms, so they were the rulers and warriors. As they were the second highest caste, they were supposed to be the kings during peace and warriors during war. And in today's India, along with Brahmins, Kshatriyas represent roughly 20% of the Indian population. Number 3. Vaishyas At number 3 we have Vaishyas, created from the thighs of the Lord, and were the agriculturalists, merchants, traders, moneylenders, and those involved in commerce. Cattle rearing was considered one of the key roles Vaishyas had to play. Some of them also used to work in close coordination with King's administration to discuss and implement ways to raise the standard of living. Today, almost 1.8% of the Indian population are Vaishyas. Number 4. Shudra At the bottom, we have Shudras that were the laborers. According to their belief, they were created from the feet of the Lord, so the Shudras were supposed to work and serve other people of upper castes. They were not even allowed to get an education, which is why in comparison to the other three castes, Shudras were illiterate, and still now, literacy rate among Shudras is quite low. Some sociologists like D. N. Majumdar, on the other hand, believe that these castes have their origins in the arrival of Aryans among 1500 BC in India. Many consider this system as a clever strategy of Brahmins, who wanted to place themselves on the highest rank in the pyramid of hierarchy. As explained by Dr. Govinda Shadashvi Guri, caste is a Brahmanic child of Indo-Aryan culture, cradled in the land of gangs, and then transferred to other parts of India. Number 5. Dalits 
Later, there was a fifth category that was considered out of Hindu castes under untouchables, or later labeled as Dalits, having a population of more than 200 million. These untouchables were supposed to do polluted and dirty work, like cleaning streets and washrooms, or removing the bodies of dead animals. These people were also not allowed to drink water from the wells of upper caste people, and were not allowed to go to holy places where groups from the upper class were present. Even their lives were not considered precious, and if they cast a shadow on men from the upper caste, it was believed that men got polluted and now have to shower to gain purity. As this all was going on, Britishers entered the scene and made sure to attack the most vulnerable part of Indian society. Britishers, with the help of Brahmins, started normalizing these categories of caste, and this social stratification became more rigid than ever after the British colonization of India. That's exactly how this system of castes developed and morphed into discrimination over decades. As of today, there are approximately 2,500 subcastes and 3,000 castes living in India. Social Impact of Multicaste System in India The caste system is an important and chief social system in India. It has major effects on the social life of people too. Some most highlighted ones include Hindering social progress as a whole, society is suffering as this system is hindering social progress by not allowing certain changes to be done in this rigid society. Additionally, many young adults have to act according to the age-old norms of their respective caste. Stifling economic growth As I have mentioned, occupations are determined by the level of caste. Many people are also forced to do a particular work, irrespective of their choices leading to the inefficiency of labor, further stifling economic growth in the country. Marriages In India, castes also play a main role when it comes to marriage, as parents mostly arranged marriages. Several factors are considered for picking up an ideal partner, and caste is one of them. For instance, Brahmins would never choose someone from a lower caste or untouchables. Political disunity In the caste system, an individual also has to prove loyalty to respective castes, thus it fosters casteism, rather than nationalism leading the political disunity among the people of the country. Exploitation of women The caste system particularly has exploited mainly women. For example, in different castes, women have to follow certain customs like child marriage, seclusion, or there is even the prohibition of widows from marrying which leads to an increase in hardship and degradation in society. Poverty Additionally, due to inequality, many people from lower castes are more susceptible to disease and poverty than the ones from the upper classes. In 2020, according to CNN, there are 200 million people who are considered untouchables, living in crowded slums. According to another study in 2013 by the International Dalit Solidarity Network, it was revealed that during emergencies, poor financial conditions make lower castes more vulnerable to diseases. Views of Modern Indians About the Caste System Even though many modern educated Indians might claim that there is no discrimination based on caste in educational institutes or companies offering jobs, you can't deny the fact that this 3,000-year-old tradition is still followed in rural areas. More than 200 million people in India are considered less than human, impure, and named as untouchables. And still, you can witness the headlines in mainstream Indian media as Dalit boy was beaten to death for plucking flowers, seven Dalit boys burnt alive in caste clash, Dalit women raped and paraded naked. A few years back during COVID-19, it was reported that India had 600,000 villages, each with a small pocket on the outskirts that is meant for Dalits. Reportedly, these settlements are far from any kind of basic facilities like banks, schools, or hospitals. As Solanke, leader of Dalit states that during COVID, many were not given enough money for their work. For years, they've been cleaning and scrubbing hospitals, residential complexes, streets, and railway stations. But instead of providing them with protective gear and rewarding them, people are ostracizing them. Some have even been refused water to dry when requested while at work," said Solanke. As we draw curtains on our exploration of India's multicaste system, 
It is evident that India is undergoing many new changes due to modernization, technologies, and education. Despite these changes, India still has a long way to go to fully eradicate this evil from the country. That's the wrap. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting global insights.